all right what's up so i'm out riding it's a beautiful day and i realized that i never really went over my bike so let's do that right now it's a 2018 suzuki drz 400 sm model um i guess i'll start at the front and work my way back uh up front these aren't the stock tires these are high now k80s uh they're great i like them you know for the for the riding i do they they're good enough they've got good deep uh grooves in the tire for um you know expelling water if you ever hit it uh great i like them um i've got axle sliders that i put on these are uh spitfire skateboard wheels and some 3 8 inch no 7 16 inch all thread with a couple of nuts on each side to to space them out evenly on the tire on the wheel because this side doesn't have a nut that side does so i added this nut to space it out from the wheel like over here uh got some decals on the on the bike some suzuki stickers i tried to, i put some stripes on the wheels i tried electrical tape all different kinds of electrical tape never worked so I ended up getting some three quarter inch vinyl off of Amazon and that's what's on there now and that's worked fantastic since I put it on. I haven't had a problem. It's been on there some time. Uh, I've got a set of seal savers. Uh, this is the Velcro kind you Velcro it on, zip, zip tie it to the top. Uh, Acer B's, Acer Bis, Supermoto front fender, uh, Baja Designs, Squadron front headlight. Uh, I've got some button lights for my button LEDs for my blinkers up front. I took those big alien antenna joints off. Uh, Yoshimura RS2 full exhaust header pipe and all the way to the back. Some Amazon levers, uh, breakaway levers. These are uh, MZSs. Uh, I like them so far. Uh, chipping my paint. From wherever i don't know where that came from uh case savers number talk case savers but i got the plain kind because i don't know that tt just didn't really fit what i was going for uh, i've got some drz e model cams in here that i put in so you know gives it a little bit of extra you know go they have a higher lift on the cams uh, my carburetors jetted with a three by three mod got JD jet kit on it I think I've got a 160 main a 45 pilot uh, EMN needle or a red needle on the fourth clip down I'm at sea level of course as you can see in uh, Florida so uh, that jet jetting has worked great I'm fuel screws probably like two and a half turns out uh, k and air filter on the inside that's that it gave me uh, a, a little I don't know if it's just I was expecting it to be a little bit more peppier but it feels like it gave it a little bit more pep a little bit better ability to breathe um, got a seat concepts low because I'm short um, ram mount for the iPhone I put yellow tape yellow electrical tape over my indicator lights because at night they are bright they'll damn near blind you so i'll put those on there um i got this rack off of some dude on facebook and uh it's worked great but i'm gonna take it off i'm going with another style here soon one that's more slim and sleek and that i can put a bar on the back for whenever i quit being such a puss and start doing good willies uh, i took the uh spark arrestor out of the muffler uh, it gave it a little bit more ability to breathe uh, made it run a little bit better this is an old eBay LED tail light and with the button lights I got off of eBay I mean uh, Amazon and uh, that works great but I have a LED strip light I'm gonna put in and tuck it under a little bit more I'm gonna have a I have an aluminum bracket I'm gonna make uh, case saver over here uh, some stickers they add about 5 10 horsepower I uh, this is the stock chain guard but I, I cut it off 
right after that and painted it red of course the DRZ SM stickers um, I don't think I've done too much else to the bike scratched it up there's like random scratches from all over the place I don't know where they came from I did do the clutch lever mod where you don't have to start the bike you don't have to pull the clutch in to start the bike I haven't done the kickstand only because I really don't jump it that much but um, next time I have all this off I might do that also but yeah that's about it oh and a JT sprockets uh, replaced a rear sprocket just for aesthetic reasons I wanted a black sprocket so that's a JT sprockets 41 tooth and I did change the front to a driven 16 tooth sprocket so I have I'm running 1641 with my gears and um, and right now I can run 75 uh, 80 no problem on the highway without uh, hitting a limiter because uh, I do drive 45 minutes on the highway to get to work and when I ride this to work uh, you know I like to go I like to have the ability to go at least 75 so that 1641 has uh, been really good to me on the highway uh, wheelies and stuff you know it's whatever you know I, I don't really think it matters on your gearing as long as you can get the front wheel up and not be a bitch about it but uh but yeah this is the 2018 drz uh 400 sm that i have i think that's pretty much all the mods i've done to it planned i, I, t I told you in another video that uh i plan on putting a big bore kit on this and taking a cylinder and jug off of this putting it on my e-model and then putting the carb off the e-model on this one and running it until I get the e-model completely finished and then when I get that completely finished I'll put the slant back on the e-model and then order a MX FCR to put on this uh, the the tail rack I want to get is a BNB it's from Australia but it's, it's aluminum and it's really slim and I saw where a dude had them uh, welded out so he had a step back here for stunting and uh, so I'm not really I, you know I can't stunt I'm not a stunt rider maybe in a year or two if I keep trying but I would like to have one with a bar back here in case I loop it so it won't eat up this back here and uh, maybe eventually when I stop being such a bitch I might be able to put a titanium block on it and scrape it uh, had that Cerakoted red I washed it with some degreaser and left a film on it. I need to wipe it off but uh but yeah man this thing's a champ I love it uh so far i got it in september and right now i'm about to put seven thousand miles on it so i ride it about a thousand miles a month which is to be honest i put most of those miles on when i first got it i haven't really ridden it that much in the past few months but i have put crazy amount of miles on it in a short amount of time and i felt kind of bad about that to begin with but then i saw this guy on one of the facebook pages uh drz facebook pages and he had fifty-four thousand on his with nothing but oil changes and filter changes uh valve adjustments and uh no top end work nothing so you know even if i blow this shit completely the kingdom come i'll rebuild it because it's mine and that's the type of person i am i'm not a buyer and a seller you know i usually make my make an informed decision and buy what i really want and i keep it i hold on to it uh so just like my jeep i'm gonna keep my jeep till it burns down in the yard never gonna get rid of it because after a certain amount of time it becomes almost like a family member you know you love it so much you have so much fun with it you'd hate to see it go so that's the way i feel about this bike the way i feel about my jeep uh one thing i do want to get in is some dirt racks uh from they mount here and go up to the subframe here and uh what they just like a, a crash guard that goes on the side here they're real slim i think they hang back like this far i might even cut the plastic down on both sides uh just high enough that it still has the battery box but yeah that's it that's my my drz i love it i ride the crap out of it and uh i'll be riding the crap out of it till i don't even know when until i can't ride anymore so that's it guys i'll catch y'all later